thigh. If you want to feel more of an opening in your outer right thigh, you'll see if you can reach down and hook your, I'll show it around this way. See if you can hook your um, armpit around your shin. So then if that wasn't complicated enough, we're gonna go around to the other side. So you're just gonna spin around, coming to the other foot. Now you're gonna go onto the pinky toe side of that foot, spinning on your heel, all your toes facing the same direction. And you're standing on the right hand, either you're up high or down low. And we're gonna just move back and forth between these two sides. So stay with me if you can. Spinning across, pivoting, all your toes facing to the right. Sinking in, back to the other side. All your toes now facing to the left. One more time each side, give you a chance to try to get it right if it didn't happen yet for you. Thank you, Aaron. And last side. Good. And then coming back to just a regular lunge with the left foot in front. And your right foot up to the front as well. And fold over. Exhale. Take it high on your inhale. And hands down the center. All the way down. And then back up. Folding over again. Shaking your head out. Once again, the left knee go back. Let's let the left knee come down. And take a little bit of a back bend here. So you're hopefully feeling a nice big stretch in the left front hip. Now we're going to let that stretch move down into your quad. Take a quad stretch. Your left hand will go out a little bit to the side of your mat and lift up your back knee, move it back a little bit, and bend your back leg. If you can't reach your foot with comfort, then you can either just let it be and just work here, or if you have a strap, you can put a strap on your foot. So first, you're going to press your foot into your hand, opening up. And then we'll bow forward, bringing your heel in closer. If your, thigh, if your quad muscles let you, on an inhale, coming up. Bow one more time. Your inhale takes you up. This time, your chest will stay lifted, but you'll bring your heel in a little closer for the deep quad stretch. Allow your foot to drop back to the floor. Right hand on the inside and the left hand on the inside of your foot. Pausing here, feeling the opening of your right groin. And then you're going to shift back, trying to straighten your right leg. If you're up here, then you can just put your hands on your leg somewhere, or maybe just here. So dropping into the place where you feel a stretch on the back of your right leg. Come up a little bit and allow your toes to go to the outside. And the stretch will go a little bit onto the outside of your right leg. And on some inhale, lift up a little bit. Pivot your leg so it's internally rotating, toes going toward your center. And drop in again. And now the stretch will have moved to the slightly on the inside of your right leg. Another inhale lifts you up and spend another couple breaths with your toes, whatever direction you're gonna most benefit from. And then bring both hands to the inside, bring your right foot around, and take a child's pose. Feel your hips getting heavier, creating a little more space in the muscles in your low back. You can wiggle around a little bit. Make this pose your own. You bring your arms out in the front if they're not there already. Coming up and bring your left foot around in the front, sinking down. 
and coming up. Feeling the stretch in your right front hip flexor now. It is nice to look up at the sky. And so now your right arm will go out a little wider than your mat. Move your right knee back a little bit more. Reach around if you can grab your foot, you'll do that. Press your foot into your hand. Opening up, breathing in. Bowing forward, bring your heel in as close as you can. An inhale takes you up again, opening your chest. One more time, diving in. Open 